Today, during this short screencast, I want to show you a feature that I feel is underutilized within the Google Docs suite, and this feature is the research feature. To demonstrate this first, I'm going to create a new Google Doc. Now, in my new Google Doc, you see up in the menus, I have tools. In the drop-down tool menu, you will see research. If I click on that research, you notice that a Google research bar pops up on the right hand side of the screen. This is wonderful because I can research uh, anything from anything on the web, images, scholarly articles, quotations, definitions, or tables. I can search the web for any of these things right from my Google Doc. Let me demonstrate. Now let's say I've just searched Shakespeare and you see that images and everything from the web, all web resu results, show up right beside my doc. Now, let's say I want to look at something a little bit more in depth. All I have to do is click on it and it opens up in a new window. Now let's say that there's something on this page of Shakespeare that I would like to borrow for myself. Let me just copy this paragraph right here and paste it into my document. Now this is a problem because of copyright laws, but I know where I got it from. And if I go over here on the right side, I can cite this directly from this window here beside the doc. Notice how there's a little number one up there. Well, down in the bottom of my document, the footnote tells exactly where I got the information from. So citing it perfectly right from within the Google Doc. What if I don't like this format? Well, up here where the triangle is, the little down triangle, I can choose if I want my footnote style to be MLA, APA, or Chicago, automatically done by the research tool. Now this also works in Google Slides and Drawings. For example, if I want to search for an image that I can use in my slideshow about Shakespeare, I can go to the research tool, filter by images, and type Shakespeare. Now, you have to be careful here because not every image on the web has the, the same licensing attributes. But Google makes it easy for us to figure out which images we can and cannot use by clicking on this little triangle and filtering by free to use, share, or modify, even commercially. When I find an image I like, I can click on it and drag it right into my presentation. Notice that the source information has automatically been provided. The same can be said for Google Drawings. Let's say this time I want to choose a quotation by Shakespeare. You can clearly see a list of Shakespeare's quotations. And if I want to borrow one, all I have to do is hit insert and it correctly references where the quotation is from. Well, there you have it, a wonderful research tool to use in Google Drawings, in Google Slides, and as well, of course, Google Docs. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.